You're getting sleepy. Sleepy. So did you do it? We're over the Pacific Ocean. I thought this was pretty cool. Not as cool as this. Look at that, folks. I'll tell you why I'm here. Check that out. I'm at the earth.nullschool.net and Mr. MMBB333 has done a couple of videos talking about Hector. This is Hector. He's on the Pacific. He's heading towards Hawaii. Mr. BBB had mentioned a couple times possibly that the, uh, the lava flow into the water may be warming up the temperatures of the water. Might attract or intensify the system if it gets to the mainland. So I figured I'd come over here to Null School for one of my checks and check the sea surface temperatures. So, where are we at here? I have to make it smaller, go over here to ocean. I'm sorry about that. And SST. Huh, that doesn't look right. It just doesn't look right. Okay. Well, this isn't, this isn't the most accurate up-to-date time this reflects uh, midnight UTC on August 6th huh. anyway apparently it's showing no there's really nothing you could discern from this particular map so let's go over here to this one here we're at the hawaii.edu website looking at the uh, water temperatures apparently there's a uh, water on the other side of the island it's about 82 degrees and down here by the lava flow it's there's no real accumulation of hot water grouping up you know right there so but got to consider the source and I've never been there before so let's go check out the buoys all right this is the buoys over Hawaii and what I noticed was they really don't have any buoys in a location that would be helpful for us right now okay so I'm not even gonna waste my time there I'll just go back here and we'll go with this information right now uh, I will anyway and it, it just looks like that the lava flow that's happening from that volcano is not going to be a contributing factor in my opinion what I'd like to do now is I'd like to take you to the go uh, the Colorado State.edu website and I want to talk about this this represents 5 a.m. UTC August 6th and this shaft of uh, well energy I guess a beam of light photons or whatever represents uh, we're in the beginning of the go 16 eclipse season that's 5 a.m. so where is the Sun at 5 a.m. UTC we need to go to the Himawari side and find out. Well, this is 5 a.m. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm gonna take the slider bar and scroll it back and forth so you can watch the glint. Hopefully, oh, they're gonna jack me, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay, I'm hoping you can follow your. All right, they're gonna be a. It's actually right over Indonesia. And what they're claiming is that at 5 a.m. when the sun is over Indonesia, that that's what we're getting, what they call it, uh, stray light from the sun. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, so that's 5 a.m. Uh, UTC. Check it out on the College of DuPage website just for kind of like verification. It's there. I'm just gonna find it for you. Mm. 
Okay, there it is, 5 a.m. UTC. All right, now what that is is, they're calling it stray light from the sun. So let's go with that. Now, what I'm about to show you is the Himawari side going all the way back to August 5th. Well, let's go to August 6th of 2015. And as you can see, the same type of signature has been picked up for that many years, okay? I've got videos going back to April of uh, 2018 showing all this. Fresh from the archives is where I got this one. Here's the website. I'm going to give you all the links. But this is what I'm going to show you. In addition to this, what do they call it? Eclipse, goes Eclipse. It's going to start to migrate from the North Pole all the way to the South Pole. Starting in early August going through early October. At the same time, it's migrating from the north to the south. It's going across. It looks like it's going across from east to west. Now watch what happens at the same time. Now this is scat angles from, I'm guessing, the uh, RAMMB website. Okay, now check this. Sorry about the, sorry about the blur. Hopefully we get this into, uh, into focus here for you. But at the same time that uh, the eclipse is taking place, huh, boy, they're really jacking me. Huh, there it is, play. Okay, now watch what happens. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. Starting from the South Pole, going in the opposite direction of the sun. That's early August 2017, so this is the same time last year, okay? September 2nd we're at now. September 4th, September 5th, September 6th, September 7th. September 8th and so on and so forth and that's going to migrate from the south to the north at the same exact time that this animal is migrating from the north to the south now this goes eclipse that they're talking about the sun it kind of follows the path of the sun glint but this one here where to go goes the opposite direction of the sun. See that? Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna stop, let's see, that is October 17th. No, I'm sorry. That represents October 10th, 2017, and it's up there. So, it's, it's just strange that the GOES Eclipse season and this particular, what they're calling this is, they're claiming this is called the Solar 